Hi everyone, welcome back to Retro Entertainment, the channel that celebrates English, well, British and indeed shows and movies from everywhere, as long as they are classic, as long as they are retro. Anything from the 50s and 60s through to more modern times. Today we're reviewing a Blu-ray um, and the movie we're reviewing is requested by Kristen Sweet, one of your favourite movies. Hi Kristen to you. We're going back to 1986 for the magical fairy tale family adventure Labyrinth starring David Bowie, one of the forever living musical legends and Jennifer Connelly. It is a fairy tale. Um, the story revolves around Sarah, who, after another weekend of being bored babysitting her little baby brother Toby, retreats into her favourite fairy tale book, Labyrinth, and uh, she orders, within her own active, overactive imagination, the Goblin King to take Toby away. When he does actually disappear, she has to journey to the centre of the labyrinth herself and battle the Goblin King, Gerard, as played by David Bowie. It's full of great musical songs and it also features the puppet mastery of Jim Henson. This was actually the very last film that Jim Henson would direct. Um, it features wonderful songs that Bowie wrote for the movie himself. The title track, Underground, and my favourite song within the movie, Dance Magic Dance. And that actually takes place within the Goblin King's castle when he's taken Toby away. And uh, he sets Sarah a time limit with which to reach the castle and uh, rescue her baby stepbrother and to do so she'll have to trust the very outrageous goblins and characters that guard the uh, castle that uh, work for the Goblin King and she'll have to trust that some of them can be trusted and not are all deceptive and untrustworthy like they would all seem. She does make some friends on the way, um, a wonderful hoggle who is like a little goblin, dwarfy type of character who's never had a friend in the world. Well, he becomes Sarah's friend through a little bit of bartering over her jewellery and other little bribes. He helps her along with other magical creatures like Seronymus, a uh, noble knight who rides on his steed of a wonderful shaggy dog. And then there's also... Lobo, a kind of huge um, warthog crossed with moose kind of creature, I guess I'd describe him. And he's got these wonderful tusks that sprout out and he's got a very deep voice. Um, it's just completely magical. It's one of those films where you completely um, dispend your disbelief completely and just get lost in a completely magical world where... Nothing is as it seems. You can't take anything on face value, or can you? Um, my favourite song within the movie has to be Dance Magic Dance, which, as I said, is when Toby is with the Goblin King in his castle. And during that song, um, there's actually lines at the end of verses where the Goblin King will say, and the baby says, and at that point the baby giggles and laughs. Well, when they were making the scene, uh, the baby Toby, who was also called Toby in real life, which I guess made it a lot easier, um, he didn't actually make the right noises or laugh at the right moments. So David had to extend his talents further and make baby noises and googles and such like, and they then had to be superimposed onto the film track during the song and it's still made to look as if 
Toby was reacting and making the noises himself. You find that out during one of the fantastic extras um, journey through the Labyrinth making of documentary. Um, the sheer process, the amount of people w- um, working on the project and the sheer number of puppeteers and everything else was absolutely breathtaking. Um, Jim Henson, of course, well known for working um, throughout the world with Muppets and the whole film was in conjunction with LucasArts and uh, the likes. It was a huge, huge undertaking at the time. Um, But as I mentioned earlier, this was the last film he directed and um, what a way to go out. Um, The soundtrack is absolutely superb with the songs written by Bowie. The puppets are incredible. And as uh, Sarah herself says at the end of the movie, sometimes she needs her friends, the other characters in her life, even when she's back in the real world. And they actually appear at the end. And um, she's they're actually there with her for real. And they have a party. And it's just a wonderful, um, uplifting, good feeling family film it will make you feel uplifted it will make you laugh you'll sing along it's just absolutely fantastic it's one of those films that everyone as a family should see at least once in their life um it's rated universal so it's suitable for everyone and uh, some of the other features included special features included um you've got the storytellers which is Blu-ray exclusive feature. You've got a commentary with Brian Frode. The making of documentary, as I said, Inside the Labyrinth. That is really eye-opening and and worth a watch to see just how much work goes into uh, making this kind of movie. Journey Through the Labyrinth, Kingdom of Characters. And also Journey Through the Labyrinth, The Quest for the Goblin City. Um... This is on Blu-ray, so obviously the effects are even sharper. The sound quality and everything is even better. It's definitely one uh, worth searching out. And uh, certainly a movie that I'm very glad to have rewatched and once again enjoyed as I did in my younger teenage and school years. So uh, very enjoyable indeed. Uh, Labyrinth starring... David Bowie and Jennifer Connolly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, next up, we will be um, reviewing a Robin Williams film, Jack, as I finally get round to growing and extending a Robin we- Williams season, which I wanted to do a long time ago, back last year. So far, um, we've just got a review of Mrs. Doubtfire up on the channel. As I said, Jack will be coming next in the next video, so stay tuned for that. And uh, please like, comment and subscribe. And comment, please, in the comments, if, like, uh, Kristen, you have a movie or a TV show that you fondly remember that we haven't looked at on the channel, let me know in the comments. And who knows, I could be giving you a shout-out very soon indeed as we look at your favourites TV and movies so that will do it for this video guys take care and I'll see you in the next video